How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel and today is the day you guys have been waiting for. We're here in the Keys. I'm loading up the Sea Hunt. Today is Memorial Day weekend guys. You guys already know this is the day that it gets the wildest out in Isla Morada. We're gonna head out there. I got my boy Two Bears with me. What's going on guys? Guess one bear. Yes, sir. So excited to be out here guys. As much as he's excited, I'm as excited. We're both excited. That's why we're gonna do this video together today. Cause it's just, we gotta bring you guys all the madness that's gonna be out there. So it's without- be epic guys, <laughs> epic. Without further ado, let's get on this boat. Let's get this day started and let's go. All right, guys, so we're heading out of our channel here. Look who else got on board. I, I picked up a stowaway. <laughs> <laughs> My brother, you guys haven't seen him in the channel for a while, but he's back. You know, he ain't gonna miss this this day. <laughs> out of all days, this is the one he don't wanna miss. Not this one, this, today's gonna be crazy. Exactly. This really right now is like the calm before the storm. You know, we're here, it's quiet, we're talking. You know, we got Orlando right up front. He's gonna be riding with us. I'm sure you guys know who he is. That's the guy that I'm always racing on my videos. Once I get out there, guys, we're gonna see how it looks. Should be pretty calm out, it's not a lot of wind, but there's only one way to find out. Dalito! You ready for the weekend? I'm ready, bro. Ready, ready for the craziness? Huh? You ready for the craziness? Yes, sir. Let's get it going then, bro. Let's go, be waiting. <laughs> Alright guys, as expected, super, super flat day. Looking like a perfect day to go to Bimini, which might happen. I'm not going to tell you guys, you guys got to look out for that in the next video. But nice and calm out here. We got Orlando coming out behind me. Once we get past these two channels, we're going to take off with our straight shot all the way to Isla Morada. So here we go. we made it here to the Isla Morada sandbar it is only about 10 o'clock and look how many boats are out here I guess people are getting the memo of coming early you're gonna jump and then I'm gonna do the tying all right guys we're getting here and looking for a spot I always get over here by this pincho barge over here close to the main flag so let's find our location let's anchor up and let's start our day off the way that I usually anchor at the sandbar, I'm usually backing in, already setting my front anchor, little by little, letting your anchor line out while backing up with your engines. And I already have the back anchor already in position. So as soon as I get to where I want to go, my brother can jump in the water and put that anchor exactly where I want him to do, as you guys are going to see right now. I have a rule that as soon as somebody from my boat gets in the water, my engines are off. As you see, they turned off. They got right back in position. I hand them the anchor. And he went ahead and walked it out. I saw the other boats, which way they were facing. So I kind of knew which way the current was. And then all we did was wait till he got the line pretty tight, tied it up. And that's all she wrote. All right, guys, so we're officially anchored up here. This is the calm before the storm, guys. We got a prime spot right behind the pincho bars. Got another boat coming in over here. 
Boats are coming in at a steady pace, guys. It's going to be all day long. But this is why I come early because I like to get this prime spot. All right, guys, so we're out here. As you see, it's starting to build up little by little. The day is beautiful. We're in high tide, so I didn't go all the way into the thing, into the sandbar. We got over here, Life by the Bow. Yeah, everybody here is starting to get full. To my surprise, we haven't gotten blocked in yet. But this guy right here, if he anchors up, I'm sure he'll anchor up with two or three other boats. And next thing you know, all of this will get blocked in. But that's expected on a day like today. I don't even worry about it anymore. We got the pincho barge here getting everything ready to feed the whole sandbar. And I came over here to say what's up to Life by the Bow. Go bien! Life by the Bow came in the Pathfinder because look at this. He's in about less than a foot of water. Puts down his power poles in the back and he's good to go. And the contender, he wouldn't be able to get all the way in here. He would have to stay more out there. But it's nice to see people you know out here. Alrighty man, we're here with Clay from Life by the Bow. Last time you guys saw him, we were out in Bimini. Now we're here at Isla Morada Sandbar having a good time. He's here in this beautiful Pathfinder. I love this boat. It's actually making me think about getting something like this. Like you said, guys. I'll tell you what, man, it would not be a bad decision by any means. But that's right, man. We're just out here doing the same old, same old. Yep. You know, you gotta come and visit the Sandbar Memorial Day weekend. Definitely does get a little crazy out here. You know, every once in a while, you gotta switch it up, throw a little craziness in the life. You can't, you can't keep it too static, but now just an unbelievable atmosphere out here. Just so much fun, so many good vibes, and you know, sometimes not the most family friendly. Right, right. This is this is a weekend that I would leave the kids at home. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. But you know, tons of people showing up, lots of good times to be had, and you know, that's really what loading and being out here all about just out here having fun enjoying some time with good friends family that's that's why we do it right i could have said it better myself man i said it for you <laughs> all right guys this place is starting to get packed a lot of boats coming in but we got some food from the pincho bars guys i love these burgers man look at that with everything sitting back here having a great time but now it's time to eat. Before we get into even the crazier part of this video, I do want to take a second and thank all the veterans and all the servicemen and women, because without them, we wouldn't be able to be out here and be doing all this stuff that we're doing. They're the ones that keep this country safe, and we cannot forget that this weekend is dedicated to it. So if you ever uh, were a serviceman or anything like that, shout out to you. I'm going to dedicate this video to you guys.
right, guys, so I called it. We're gonna get blocked in, but I don't know about you, bro. I'd rather get blocked in. By a, by a 53 Sprite nose, right? If you're gonna get blocked in, might as well get blocked in. By one of these animals right here. <laughs> Beautiful boat. But it's starting to form. We got another big deep impact over here. We got some more boats over here. As you guys see right now, we're in high tide, so I didn't want to go all the way deep in. It's about waist deep. But once the tide starts coming out, it's going to be a kind of short around here. So that's why I didn't want to get too in deep. Because then I got to start moving and coming, you know, out. So here, at least this place here, I know that I can be here the whole day and I don't have to worry about anything. I'm not sure what's going on, but all those boats are shifting. Some boats are coming in, jet skis are coming in. Gotta get a boat to block this here so all these people don't use the highway here. blocked in and look by one o'clock that happened already i don't know what it is i don't know if it's my flag but every single time i come out here but right now even if i wanted to leave i can't leave look but that's why i always tell everybody if you're gonna come here prepare to come early and prepare to stay late because they're gonna be a prisoner here for a little bit at least you have a few ¿Cómo está la gente de UM? Wow, what's up? Oh, oh, oh. Doing good? Oh, you saw the drone, right? Yes, sir. There he is, dog. Hey, Daddy, Bobo. Nice to meet you guys. Miami, living 305, baby. The gente from the U, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Put up the U side. Put up the U. There you go. Yeah. Let's go. 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 Let
and around three, four o'clock. They don't think we're ready for that. All right, well, hey, listen, if you don't believe me, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, subscribe hit the notification button, because you're going to see it. You're going to see that video coming up tomorrow. And if you want to see it before, all the people that follow me on Instagram, you get to see it firsthand on the stories there before it has to happen. So make sure you I follow it. Make sure you follow this guy. Round two. Come on, Dallas Cheeseburger. Come on, Dan. Yo, how's the burger? Round two. So yeah guys, the party's still going out here at the Isla Morada Sandbar. The boats are starting to get full because what happens is people get here from all different boats and then they join their friends on one boat and that's how you get this. Here it starts guys, this is what happens. People want to leave, they're blocked in and they can't get out. Looks like he made it out. Some people are starting to leave. All right guys, so we're all starting to pick up. It's been a great day out here. Lots of boats still partying. As you guys can see, the big ACB in front of me is leaving, which is awesome. I actually don't have to wait to get out of here. Like many other boats, I got a clear path all the way out. But yeah, around this time, this is when everybody starts heading out. Probably not yet. <laughs> one more dip, one more dip. Then we're gonna head home, call it a day, cause tomorrow we're going to Bimini. HBC is leaving. We're right after him. We're gonna get disengaged with Orlando. Orlando's gonna go ahead and then we're going right after him. Once the big HBC left in front of us, I went ahead and disguised myself from Orlando's boat. He went ahead and started going forward nice and easy so then I can leave right after him. With Orlando out of the way, I jumped in to retrieve my back anchor. Remember, as soon as you pull the back anchor, the boat will start swinging towards the other boats with the current. So before I got on the boat, I gave it a little bit of push against the current. So that gets me a couple seconds so I can get on and get on the engines. My brother started to pick up the front anchor. And just like that, guys, nice and smooth, we were able to get out of the sandbar without any problems. So yeah, man, it was another amazing Memorial Day weekend out here. Full as always, I mean, I, I can't say it was more packed than last year, but it definitely wasn't less. It was pretty full today also. Great vibes, saw so many subscribers that came up to me. Amazing the amount of support that I got from you guys out here, I really appreciate it. Every time you guys see me out here, please do not hesitate to come and say hi to me. I love meeting you guys. So whenever you see me, don't hesitate, you know, maybe you don't see me, you see the boat, the flag, whatever it is. Come by and say what's up, man. I love meeting all you guys. Now we're going to head back to our home dock, clean up the boat and get it ready because tomorrow we're going to Bimini. Catch you guys when I get out there. Let me get out of this channel as you guys see. A lot of traffic coming in and out. guys so we made it back here to the dock we're gonna hose this thing down we're not even gonna clean it because tomorrow we're gonna go to Bimini so 
Just got to put a little bit of more ice tomorrow, a little bit more drinks. And tomorrow, we're going to head to Vivity. But this is where I'm going to end today's video. Make sure if you like this video, you hit the like, subscribe, and notification button. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.